Hello everyone, Speed D-Man here with a new episode of the Let's Learn Civilization VI series. And we're going to play as Sunduck this time. So we just did a, uh, a random roll run and that run ended up dying pretty early on. Just got into an immediate war basically being declared on me. And while I did take care of the, uh, basically the opponent's military, uh, a good six, five to six uh, barbarians from a previous camp I didn't have the time to destroy came up and did a lot of damage and caused more issues. So just basically killed a lot of the tempo for that game. And that game would just wouldn't have really been viable. So decided to go ahead and refresh for a better run. I'm gonna start this off with a little bit of disaster intensity, change things up a little bit. Uh, start position. Standard is fine. And let's see where we roll and what it, if it's uh, if it's any decent what we can do. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Queen Sandu, the stars reveal you lead career to greatness. Build Seun to educate your people, for the secrets of the world are theirs to uncover. For those okay. who would steal your knowledge, let's see treat them what to a rain get. of rocket propellant. Map search. Hill. That's it. Okay, hold up. <laughs> I'm afraid that's not going to work. <laughs> that is very, very sparse. And yes, I could have clicked on balance, but standard, unfortunately, is kind of water, normal choice. But balance could be an option. But at the same time, it also means there's always a chance you can get a much better start location than the other AI. Far. So it goes now both ways. Begins your greatest quest. Hoping this particular role is a little better than that because having pretty much no hills at all Queen anywhere near Sandu. me is going to be, the it's going to limit my tempo for trying to, to develop the Seon's here. Build Seun to educate your Seun. people. For the secrets of the world. Um, mines receiving extra come. science and farms for receiving those extra who would food. Steal your knowledge, those are things I actually can treat use them a lot. To a rain of rocket propelled fire from your Huacha. Reach. This, river. this is better. Okay, near the northern edge of the map. You will settle in place. You're going to put... The civilization... That's an excellent tile. I'm gonna go scout first. I would rather get a scout and then go for a monument, something similar, than take the chance of like stuff going in the area with absolutely nothing. Reconnaissance units. That also works. I actually am going to complete that scout. Doesn't hurt to have a second scout. Our city. I was the first to meet Cahokia, and. Inspiration for State Workforce, that one's not hard. Fellow Specialty District, I'm going to be working on that eventually. Let me ask you then, now, to pay a tribute of respect and admiration to the once desired matter. Interesting. Before his head has lost the last rays of a sun departing to gild loftier and more distant ranges. Matterhorn. One tile and passable wonder provides one culture to adjacent tiles. Land combat units who move next to it ignore hills for the rest of the game and gain plus two combat strength when fighting on hills. 
Okay, I'm going to, you know, you are going to go here. You're, you're just going to go here. But then I'm going to settle another city here. And that's going to be additional culture per turn. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, okay, yep, yep, 100%. That's what I'm going to do. Not now, Recon. There's a sip to the left. Sip to the right. Anshan. I'm not seeing this one. Two signs from each great work of writing. One from... Okay, so it's going to be a science and culture game. Got it. Got it. No man ever wetted. Okay. So this, there has to be a sieve here. There, there, ha there just has to be a sieve here. Occupy that tile so I can limit them from taking this. I need that. that okay now we got something okay all right all right let's go all right so let's go manage citizens uh that's two one two one and one two um yeah that's fine to keep Something there. Probably should have gone south, but that's fine.
I do want to deal with barbarian camp issues, so I'm going to deal with that first. You are going to clear that, and you're going to get it boosted, which will give me the boost for Anshan. Uh, not Anshan, it's a... Uh... Oh, okay, it was Mexican City. Okay, nothing of value here. That tells me everything I need to be checking out. Uh, it's probably going to be northwest and then southeast. Enacting new wonder policy. wonder if Kupe's in this game. Best. Gonna bring this guy back around and just start exploring a little bit, controlling some of these areas. Um, that's got to be a problem. I go foreign trade. Not a lot of threats that are gonna be pertinent, so I'm not concerned. I will get another settler. Of course, there's another barb camp. Why wouldn't there be? Okay, so good thing is, is that tempo-wise, south is mostly secure, the north is going to be a problem, but I'll have to deal with that as I go. I'm going to hit this guy once, and then I'm going to heal and just stay fortified and see if he starts kiting hits on this guy. Yep, Brazil. I'm just going to take this off, and then I'm going to go to go early game religion. Hmm. Builder's 200, so I'll get a Builder. On Edit. Buy that. Actually, that's expanding next turn, so no need to buy then. Okay. One scout down. We have recently gained hmm. creating district. Writing is easy. I could build a couple wonders here, like 
egg and gardens here, another wonder here, like Apatana, and then build like a theater square here. No doubt about it. 100% gonna take a free settler. Three tempo. You are going to just work your way up north. Same thing with you. effectively being trapped. Go that into Settler. And then I may actually, you know, I may do Granary because I, I need the food right now. The food growth is really slow in the city. Some Tepa would be good there. Turns, that'll be done. This guy I'm just gonna leave him be for now. I have the potential to take that as long as I heal up my unit. That's gonna get me another four science. As our civic knowledge grows, every nation lives by exchange. finish them. That's perfect. Best case scenario right there. 30 gold for free.
course he's gonna kill that unit. That's annoying, but whatever. My leash. The most a physician without a knowledge. It's not going to be a really high gold, or I'm sorry, high uh, faith yield one, but that's really not that big of a problem. I already have four faith per turn from uh, the relic. Hmm. It wouldn't even be able to actually like buy it. You don't even have the means to do anything with it. I do, I do need to get Apadana a few turns faster. Also, getting this built would be more beneficial. Also, that would actually would just be the greatest tile I could get. That would be 100% maximum value. 35 turns, yeah, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Plus, I need to buy a builder anyways. You guys are just going to heal up for a while. Okay, that's done in one turn, so I can go ahead and eventually start investing on hanging gardens. That's going to be good. Thousands have lived without... sell that off. Let's make that three gold a turn. 
for Yeah, that's fine. Get that finished, growing another population in a few turns. So once that gets done, then I could really start growing it faster. I have to do this so I can get at least a guaranteed promotion. Doesn't seem like he's going to be doing too much for settling yet. He's probably going to settle soon. So getting, getting city started will help. Go mining. It's gonna take a couple turns to get there, but getting a mine, a sail, a uh, sail one, another mine or two here would just give them a nice little science boost. Okay, next turn we're going to get pop growth. That's really good. Because then I can put them both into this and really start like boosting through my uh, boosting through my uh, craftsmanship and other stuff pretty quickly. So we're good there. Go ahead and kill this guy off. As much as I want the promotion, I'd also like to guarantee that it's actually dead and I don't need to worry about it spawning another one. Never mind, it didn't kill it. Oof. You're going to sleep. It's five turns from expanding. It'd be a very, very beneficial uh, time on the three, two, one there. Who deserves more without crap? Get that holy side up. We go into bronze working. I would like to definitely get the hanging gardens going. I'm really going to need to have that done. Get that. So I can focus on this. Hanging Gardens will get done. That'll help give me a little bit of fast uh, growth in my empire. Um, I'm trying to avoid doing some of the ones that I know are going to potentially interfere with my sieve long term. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do things outside of that until I need to get horses and iron. And then I can do that once I have built some of the things that I need. If I just let it go, the problem is if I get an iron here or horses here, that completely takes the value out of what I'm trying to set up here. So I'm trying to be very careful and deliberate about how I do this. So I need to make sure that I can secure I can secure those tiles.
turns out from getting the solar site. It's good. It's going to be 16 turns, so I'm going to go there into library into settler. You are going to go west. That's a problem I need to take care of. Can't let that stay rampant, otherwise they're just going to mass spawn. Like they already are doing. Ah, crap. You are now done with that. You're going to go into Shrine immediately. Oh, look at that tempo. So you're going to lock that, and then I'm going to bring you here. And that's really going to help my uh, help my growth going going forward. Because if I can if I can nab the Abadana, or uh, it would actually be kind of greedy to wait. Civilization. Make this wait one turn. Because it would be basically, ideally, like gold gold case scenario, basically. Uh, this guy, you're just going to stay fortified. They're just going to keep tanking hits. Um, ideally, make this one turn, build the Apadana, build that, and then that. And then that way I can double it up on my envoys. It's an option. Hmm. Can't even do anything with that. So I'm going to just I'm gonna keep it. Because I'm going for religion, I might as well keep it. I'll be the fourth player going for religion, so that's good. Problem is, it's not going to be the best religion ever, but it's just going to be something. If they take work ethic, that's going to suck, then that's probably what's going to get taken. Um, We're gonna block this guy, and then you're gonna hit him. But to kill that, if I can kill that scout, Don't even think about it, dude. Then you are going to go... Going to heal, or going to heal. Better to be taking care of those threats earlier on, so that way I don't need to worry about that. Gives me good XP. This looks like a small little peninsula.
Building the shrine will be good. We now have the opportunity. It was okay, luxury, like so this is where this is where uh, Sunduk's ability kind of shines. So, governor's deception in a city provide plus three percent culture and science for each promotion they've earned, including if they're first. So. A tough one's going to be because it's uh, going to be between a few of them. I would like to get Magnus appointed, uh, and then go here. Our governor. Main reason being is I would like to eventually go down the line, get surplus logistics and provision. Money. It's a lot of value in that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started on mathematics. I could also go back and get animal husbandry, but... Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll do animal husbandry. Only place I really would hope it doesn't spawn is right there. That would that would kill me. That would, that would outright kill me. Just make that a couple turns faster. I'm invested in Mexico City, so that's going to be a problem. So, because he's declaring war, if he does so and he's effective at it, um, I'll have to declare a city state emergency and then take that back and then actually that'll be good too because then I could actually use that take the city back and then I could take Fortaleza. So I'll build into that plan. That'll probably be in the second episode I'll work on that. So good thing is now I have the means to be producing great people faster. These other players I have not met yet. Completely avoid this area, otherwise it's going to kill the value. What I'll do is I'm going to buy that, get that started. It's only a one turn difference, it's really not that good. I'll leave that at eight. And then just do some holy site prayers. The time has come. History. Our people know that I am fond of pigs. Aha! So it turns out that it was a good thing to put that there because now I have a, a source of horses. Um, this is going to be an interesting one. I will be getting religion before the end of this era, so I'm going to focus on that hardcore. Why? 
Once again, we have the opportunity. We are now ready to choose where. A strong economy. Getting the wonders faster is going to be very nice. That that I actually will consider. Um, won't really be a big deal right now because I'm trying to get this done. Once I get this done in nine turns, that's when I'm going to get the Apadani and the other stuff really properly going. So what I will do is I'm going to make a quick save here. Just as a fallback if there's an issue later on that kind of kills the run. Like if I end up, because I am going to take a risk and not complete... Interesting. I said it just got hit hard. Um, I'm not going to complete this until I get Apadana. And then that way I can go for that. It's risky. It's a big gamble. But if it does work out, that's not really valuable. No thanks. Uh, that's going to give me the potential to do a lot here. While I'm at it. A little extra gold per turn. It's not much, but it'll be something. Hmm. It's a little better. I am on pace. Wow. Okay, well, work ethic hasn't been taken yet. That's going to eventually provide more benefit. Your grace. When wasteful war shall statues overturn, and broils root out the work of men. Okay. That's one turn from completion, then I can work on shrine. That's gonna be one turn, so that's gonna give me Let's see here. I'm at 24. That'll be 26. Hmm. I can take that. Take my friendship with her for now. <laughs> <laughs> and how status and then this down to five turns. See if I can try to make this a little faster. I'm afraid.
Three out of five. Okay. I kind of worried once I skipped it. I was like, wait a minute. What? What just? What did I just skip through? The opportunity has arrived. Oh, it's because my gold is at zero. New... Politics is the art of the. Autocracy. And once I get the second population, that'll be really useful. And let's see here. Do, do, do. make quick a little bit of bank here and then i'm going to while i state save up money don't reinvent a couple probably get like you know do a chop here get a couple of mines here maybe one more mine and that that'll just be really solid that's going to give me a lot of value I will get a great profit Of all times for there to be that. That's where that's where I should have considered work ethic. That's fine. Get two missionaries right off the bat. Immediately start going north to exert pressure. It's gonna be tricky here. If I can get both of those wonders done, that's gonna be super, super top tier. It's gonna make this so much better. 
First things first. Go to the Gongju. Play Anshan. I have one in. I'd actually rather wait till I can get. This is a tough call. Five food though. That's huge. And I can I can put more uh, religious exertion here. Immediately retake that. And then I'll consider putting holy site prayers down on both of them if there's a situation where I find that to be really beneficial. But uh, I'm going to go granary. You are going to remain on those high production tiles. These are very powerful tiles. is the oh that is a perfect place that is a perfect place oh that is perfect I set up a mine there get a so on here get another mine here and then boom I have a super nice super nice setup can set up another mine here if I decide to go for a chop here. Transfer Magnus over. Put that over there. Take that. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, okay. Yes, this this is dual. Oh, my Lanta. I'm going to go engineering. Exert. Who does pressure here? Since I'll have two charges each. Start heading into whatever city's got a holy site, and I'm gonna just dump. Just dump all my charges into a city that I know is gonna basically get converted. You are now trying to change that city. Good thing is she doesn't totally know I'm in this area. Just keep on going. A few more turns, get another one, and just immediately just basically neutralize her religion. Be very aggressive there. Because being aggressive there, it'll allow me to not have to worry about religious pressure there, and that eliminates her religion right off the bat. Eastern Orthodoxy, if I go to religion, get Eastern Orthodoxy, feed the world. That's not a bad one. That's not a bad one. So all religions have been taken. Work ethic, that's a good one for me to have late game. Plus just having 
a little bit more to work with here is not bad. My liege, we have another envoy. Now, since I'll be combating her, I'm just going to be putting pressure into her areas. Both citizens are now following that religion. Put pressure on this one. That way I have more pressure from the north. You just kind of hang out. Apadana needs to get done soon. Because then I can get Hanging Gardens done at the same time. Of course, he's got his own religion he's going to try to spread, so I don't really need to deal with that. Okay, so I'm basically being surrounded, so... <laughs> I have filled a water bag from my people and gone to the Save that envoy charge. Double up on that. 
not going to be hard to get a horseman. That won't take long. I'll just have to save up a little bit on the horses. That's going to get done. I've already exerted enough pressure here to slow her down. Now I'm just going to need to... basically secure this south front. Okay. The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheat. You are going to head down immediately, put like a charge or two into the city and a charge into that city. That way, both city states are secure. You take that out, put that in. And now I will go into mysticism, or actually I'll go recorded history. Campus adjacency bonuses will help here. So this position here is going to try to block off by adding potential pressure here, unless he's just scouting. Unless he's only scouting here. That's why I'm going to go ahead and get that taken care of soon. Okay, no, he's not scouting. He's trying to he's trying to set up a front. Okay, so Salon, you're going to finish and then I'm going to go immediately into voice side prayers. I'm just going to produce faith every turn. And religious pressure, and that's going to be additionally powerful because I'm going to need that. I actually didn't know it does uh, religious pressure, but that's good to know. Foreign. This guy is close to level two. That will stay locked. That can go there. Hey, out of curiosity. No, okay, it doesn't it doesn't work the way I thought it would. I thought it would give me the two production as well, but that's specifically adjacency bonus. Okay, that's five turns out, so that's another two turns for the hanging gardens. Once those two things are done, that's going to be really beneficial because then I can take off the wonder production cards. So I won't need to worry about that. So I'm going to put that pressure on here. So she's got like five cities here, four of which have holy sight pressure. I'm actually stealing this would actually be pretty good. That's such an absurd amount. Like, this early in the game, is that is like a stupid amount of science per turn. 
Like, I didn't realize how broken Brazil was. Yeah, 10 science already. That is broken. Okay, so this is going to be a very uphill battle, but once I have this choke point done, my culture game will start to flourish, and that's when I'm going to really focus it heavily. At this point, I'm going to take off one of these guys. They're going to go here. Just so I have some growth. I could also... My ancestor Darius made this Apadana. Normal people believe. Be a tricky decision here. One turn out. I'm gonna try to get temples. If I can get temples, that'll actually make things a little bit better. The ascent to the height. Golden Age will help. He's gonna 100% have a Golden Age. Tricky thing here, this stage is now going to need to get a builder so I can build charge a couple spots here. Those tiles will gain value. I'll go 
go there and then to there. It's going to be a little while till I can get Let's see here. Set up like this for a really strong theater square is going to be nice. Mysticism Never is the mind. mistake of an. And nothing go great with writers. Good as that one's gonna get. Um, really keep trying to get that population going. I'd rather say if I get a couple of apostles, apostles could help you help me here get some tempo. Is a very nice tile. I think every production and 
a little bit of size and iron. I need that. Okay, and so from here, let's see, is there anything else major? So that's pretty good. All right, everyone. I want to thank you all for your time, and we're going to go ahead and sign off for this episode. Tune in back next week for the next episode here of the Let's Learn Korea part of our series. All right, y'all have a good one. Speed D-Man out.